In the last two videos on my Els Falaf Pro 2022, there was lots and lots of comments, so thank you, very helpful. And there was quite a few about the weight. So what I'm gonna do today is go over everything and weigh it and check how much it actually comes in at. So what I've done, I've got my scales, I've got two types of scales. I've got the hanging one and just a flat one. I'm sure that's a technical name. And we're gonna weigh all of these components and then we'll work out the frame set weight so we can see exactly what it is. So I'm gonna go in first with the seat post in here, which is actually super, super slick. There we go, very nice. Oh, and what I've got actually, before we do that, I've got this weight. So this is a 0.5 kilo weight. I'm gonna chuck this on here. And we can see that is 495. Now, I'm gonna guess that this has lost five grams over, over the years with the wear and tear. Let's try it with this as well, so that we can test and see that this is pretty accurate. So let's chuck that in here. That's saying 490. You see that right? Yeah, 490. All right, so they're within five grams of each other, so not much at all. So to make this easier, set that. Let's pop this on here. Zero that will give us a bit of a ledge. And then pop this on. And what are we on? 195. Okay, 195 for the seat post. So. Uh, 195 grams, lovely. Now, let's have a look what else we have in here. We have the headset. So just do the headset and all the adapters as well. Um, we've got the bottom bracket, which we'll do. Any more spaces, any more? We've got an extra derailleur hanger and some other bits and bobs. Interesting, interestingly, how much is the rear through axle, 41 grams for the rear through axle as well. Interesting. So let's get the headset on. Now, someone also commented on this that the bearings are wrong for the top, um, the top here um, of the headset. And that's because they're too deep, I believe. It's, uh, it's I can't remember what these are. These are a, 52 by 8 by 45 and you need a 6.5 I think it was um, I'll do a full video on that anyway, but right let's chuck these on so we're eight. Not sure what that part is I should probably know comment and let me know if you know what that is 81 and then we've got these other spacers. Now, these other spacers basically are for the Air Roam, which are the integrated handlebars, which you have to buy separately. I'm not sure if I'm going to have. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy them because they. I want a 38 centimeter wide set. However, the 38 centimeter wide only comes in a reach of nine centimeters, which is then shorter than what I'm used to. So I don't know about that. I need to do some measurements and work it out. What do you guys and girls think? Um, I do want to have the integrated handlebars. It looks really good, but I want it to be the right size, more importantly. Right, so that's everything on and the top cap, and we're on 195. You can see that all right, 195. So headset in here, let's chuck in 195 grams. Oh, we're 197, I'm sticking with 195. Back in there we go. 10 mil middle space, I'm assuming that's the 10 mil middle one. Five mil, that is five mil. And that I assume is a bit that goes, I don't know. In, I don't know. I can't think right now. <laughs> Let's stick to doing the weight. So chuck that back in there. Um, it does give you all the info on it. I'll pop that there in case you want to pause it and have a quick read. Now, the bottom bracket, which I'm not gonna use, but it gives us a rough idea, doesn't it? This is a bottom bracket that came with the frame. It is ceramic bearings, which I'm not so keen on. Um, and that is 100 grams. So we've got 100 grams for the bottom bracket. Chuck that back. Now, the forks. 
very well packaged indeed. God, these do look good. It's all staying in its packaging until I have all the other parts. So if you want me to do that quicker, please like, comment and subscribe so the channel can grow. Now for this, I'll, I'll do two. I'll, do, I'll measure it on here first. What are we on? Can't get it to balance, peeps. Oh, there we go. 425 is the reading on there. 425. I'm also going to do it with this. So it's got the through axle on it as well, so through axle included. Now let's zero this off. Start grams. 435. Okay, we'll go with four, four, three, five. We'll go with. Let's just say it is around that. Put these back in here before they get damaged. Pretty sure it's double bubble wrap. Yeah, double bubble, as they say. Um, oh, I forgot to put that on there. I'll slide that on. That'll do. So that's that done. Three done. So the forks four, three, five. Four, three, five grams, perfect. Now the frame, God, this frame is nice, isn't it? Right, we've got this, let's take this spacer out in the rear. I assume that that is simply to stop the frame being bent inwards. And we'll do this, we'll hang this one. So let's chuck this around here. Lovely. And then what have we got? Let's put this on. Birds are going crazy. So we have got... ...1,260. See if you can see that. Make sure you can see that. 1,260. 1,260. That actually know if that is amazing or not. I'll maybe chuck... 1260 on here, 1260 grams. I'm not sure what it says on the what it says on the site or what what it should be, but anyway, that's what it actually is with those scales. Now let's have a look at what the frame set weight is. Now let's have a look what the frame set weight is. So we can add it all up. So we've got 126, so 1260 plus we want to do the forks, 435 plus let's do the seat post as well so 195 is 1890 1890 um, grams so that is 126 126 435 435 195 195 so if we just do what's the frame and the fork 1260 plus 435 1695 one six nine five grams for the frame plus the forks some people might want to see hopefully in the next few months we'll be building this thing up